The following content is rated M for munch. I mean, mature. Saturday, too. Jesus. Imagine taking tests on Saturday, guys. Feels Japan, man. I realized today is the last day of exams. I would have done the same thing. I'd be so stressed. Staying up studying? No, not studying, obviously. We're trying to get some stress relieved. Nah, I gave up on the exams. <laughs> Just playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Exactly. See, Ryuji knows exactly what I'm t This is literally me in high school. I've said that a million times already, but Ryuji continues to please, I guess. Uh, you're failing for sure, dog. That is true. When your expectations are at zero, pretty easy uh, to blow them out. Yo, look who else is Damn. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. The voice actors had some fun with this. I love it. from the stupid monkey I know. Whoa! Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. <laughs> That's when we bust out the munch love emotes. <laughs> Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? Damn, Mona, what do you got inside? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Uh. <gasps> Wait a minute. What just happened to her? Am I imagining things? Whoa! What's wrong? Is she seeing the next palace? A groper, or something? <laughs> a groper? Bruh. No, that's not it. It's nothing. Hmm. hmm. Oh. That's the train stop, right? Someone's stalking. Hey, at least act like you care. Fine. <laughs> right? It's been a while since we Fine. saw an anime cutscene. Someone's obviously following her. Whoa, we got Death Note music? Wait a minute. Who? Who's man's? Who's Anne's? She's mine. What? Actually? Like, actually, whose man's is this? Are you sure it's him, or are you just that self conscious? I'm not that. Is there something you want? Wow. That's my line. You are the one stalking me. Talking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me ever since the train. That's because this voice, though. Why is he so like soothing? My goodness! Uh. I had wondered why you left the car. So this is where your passion led. The frick? All is well that ends well. <laughs> why are his hands so small? And that laugh, though, okay. <laughs> you know, I'd complimented the voice acting up till this point. From the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. Got a freaking rich boy out here. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay. Right. I'm so confused, dude. You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? Whoa. Wait a minute, I... Arranged marriage? Be the model for my next art piece. <laughs> Not arranged, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Out of nowhere. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking. But I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. So use case not a rich boy. This man's highly suspicious. Well, according to chat, I have no idea so far. A recruit for some shady business. I mean, will you cooperate with me? What do you say? Got the Japanese Picasso out here. I'd do it. Hold your horses. Who 
are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. Ah. Oh. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. What the heck? Our school is Shujin. He goes to a different school then. I'm Madarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. Okay. I'm striving to become an artist. So maybe he's. I mean, the. I assumed he was rich because of the dude in the car. Like, I thought that was his dad or something. Very same. Okay. You know who that is? Nope. He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Wow. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we do know this guy after all. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. He seems familiar, but that old guy's Matarame? I don't remember if I saw him in a cutscene last stream or if I've seen him in like YouTube or something before. Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. Wow. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. You think she'll do it? I'd be like Well then. I hope to see you there tomorrow. I'll do it if Ryuji can model with me. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird though. That guy's as easy to read as a book. Okay. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. Wow. Were they actually surprised? Dare he go after Lady On? Damn. Of course, there. I mean, everybody's got to make some money, even though technically he didn't say he was going to pay her. <laughs> and apparently, use case broker than a college student. Jeez. What's up, TK Berkeley? Speaking of college, that's a college. Best boy? Is he really, though? I'm going to go with weird boy for sure. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? Wait, how does she... I mean... That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. I guess at this point we've been caught, so she knows who all of our, like, accomplices were. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth? In the metaverse. This metaverse business again? Bro, I'm telling her the truth. I don't know what she wants. <sighs> I love the usage of the Mona Simp emotes. Fine. <laughs> Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. That was definitely a Simp Ghana moment. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Hmm. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? Could be. Hmm. I see. What do you see? <laughs> the silent treatment? Fine. Guess Let's it worked out. Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Hmm. I'm still confused, dude. Like, where is this going? Yep. It's the last day of exams right now, so let's just try to get this out the way, and then maybe we'll figure out exactly what's going on with Yusuke and his master. What's up, Big Grizz? Glad I got you into Demon Slayer, man. It's just a pretty good time. You gonna go in for counseling? What? Are we hearing little murmurs from the school? I know, right? I feel like I have to protect that teacher. <laughs> Yusuke starts out kind of strange, but once you get to know him, he's good. Mm, it's over. I mean, that's like every character to an extent. Not necessarily weird or strange. That guy definitely is giving some strange vibes, but like every character you kind of... You're not too sure about until, you know, you get to know their real story, I guess. It's over. Like vulgar boy here, of course. 
How about you? Oh snap, look, that's the artist right there behind him. That is not a coincidence, right? Like that billboard, oh, it actually changes. But they probably have it there specifically so you'll like see it, right? At some point. Uh, I'm not worrying about it, I guess. <laughs> what? You really should. Damn. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Bruh, like my exams? Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. That was easy. What are you looking at? The usual site. Ah, of course. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi then, or domestic raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right. There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? Oh my god, no. Not like that. Please no more. Oh, of course not. Have some mercy, Mona. <laughs> when I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. This is what I'm confused about. At least I don't remember. Matarame, was it? Yeah, this guy. Might be a coincidence, though. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? Damn, I mean, of course. Fine arts, huh? Gotta bring the homies along. I suggest we should all go together. Hey, no one said there's a ticket for you, Mona. Chill. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original. <laughs> Damn. Well, if everyone's going. It's like that Animal Crossing thing. It's settled then. Where you get like art pieces, but there's like a slight difference, and you gotta tell the fake apart. That's around when I quit playing Animal Crossing, actually, when that came out. Um, should be fun. I'm, I mean, I've always been into art. Going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. Not like that, though. I'm more of like Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. an art creator, not necessarily a good appreciator. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever, like, for school, like I, I've told you guys many times, I went to, like, a art school, right? Okay. And sometimes we had to go to the museum and like critique pieces or like do a review or whatever thing. I think we only had to do that like twice, but I was, that was the worst part, bro. I'm like, I don't know what to write. I feel like people just write what the piece of art makes them feel. But for me, I was just like, I don't feel shit. Like, I don't know. I was terrible at it, dude. So I keep thinking about what Naka Nohara said. Could he have been talking about the famous artist Madarame? Uh... Sounds about right. Seconded. Great. The name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys ever heard of someone else called Madarame? Edamame? Isn't that like a snack? Oh my god, Dr. Snacks! It's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitagawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. Is that Yusuke's last name? You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitagawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. We gotta look into this. Damn. So appearances aren't everything. Obviously our first impression of Yusuke was like, he came out of a luxury car with a famous art teacher in it. So like you kind of think, and he's living at his house too. So you would assume that he's a rich kid, but I don't think it's quite that way. Why did I take in a kid like this? I must be getting old. <laughs> Is there anything else we can do tonight? I mean, it's already the evening, right? Aw, oh, come on! Well, check in my notes. I don't think there's anything that special on Saturdays anyway. Entertainment! So, maybe we can, like, either work out or... craft some tools tonight. I think that gives you proficiency. Doesn't seem to be much we can do aside from that, though. We don't have any plant protein either, or whatever the heck it's called. So yeah, let's just do this. We haven't swapped out our DVD yet either, but apparently we can make three tonight. Ooh, I'll make some uh, lock picks. Could always use some of those. Let's get it.
What's up, SS Jansen? Came in late tonight. I think it's only been about an hour of stream. Yeah, an hour five minutes. Not yeah. bad. I feel like we've gotten a lot of story already, but I'm excited to actually get to some castle gameplay soon again. I feel like there's got to be a balance to the social aspect and then, you know, the RPG part. And it's been a little bit now since we've been in Mementos, I feel. So I, I'm itching for some battles, basically. Wait a minute. What's happening? That exhibition's opening. Want to come back another time? I want it, but it's so pricey. I should take out a loan. Are we actually going today? It's our day off, so I'm pretty sure it's got to be today. In the rain too? Dang. What's up, Master Snom? Welcome back, dude. So crowded. And Numbers, how you doing? I think you've been here for a while, but I didn't say hi. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? Okay. Your outfit kind of okay. stands out already. Well, I guess Anne is kind of wearing a bit of a young look, I guess. Um, yeah. Like, Zorm is the only one that looks like he fits in. You know, like has, what's it called? Like business casual attire. You really came. Ryuji and Anne are just completely casual. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. I feel it though. I'm terrible at dressing like casual or business. No, I don't know what the word is. Dressing proper, I guess, like fancy. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw too. Okay. Well, see you guys later. That one self portrait of Matarame looks pretty cool. Be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and try something funny? Whoa. I told you not to come out. <laughs> That's not even Sip, but at that point, he's just looking out. But you can definitely. Are we really nah, it's Simpin. It's definitely Simpin. <laughs> uh, let's learn about Matarame. That's what we really came here for, Ryuji. Come on, bro. Which way are we supposed to start? It's called Rendezvous. Wait, is that what it's called? Whoa, wait, that's actually him. It's that old man from the other day. Wait, does he not realize that's Matarame? Oh we my. Continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. Don't tell me Ryuji doesn't know yet. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. <laughs> wait, we are on TV right now, bro. We're just standing in the background awkwardly. <laughs> Does all your inspiration come from? Huh. Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Shut up. Naturally, you say. This guy is so like fake woke. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires. Oh my. Such as money and fame. Yeah. Okay, buddy. My atelier is a modest shack. Nah. It is more than enough to pursue true beauty. I can completely see through the bullshit right now. A shack? Oh. I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. <laughs> Why are we like getting closer just still in the background? Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the... <laughs> I guess the cameraman must not care. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> hmm... Wasn't the word shack something? Matarame-san is actually here? I actually don't know what he's talking about with the shack thing. Over there. Is that like his I'm so glad safety I word or something? Oh my god. Bruh. Oh my god. Everybody's dressed exactly the same. That's why I don't like... Hey! Calm down! Jesus, that was getting too loud. Japanese art. Formal. That was the word I was looking for. Apparently Candy wants to see me in formal wear. Maybe one day. Usually one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. Gotta check out my Instagram. There might be some formal wear one day. Special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. Yeah. You're sensing something from the artwork. Oh. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I don't know. That's not... I mean, if you can make someone smile with your art, then yeah, I feel that. But I've never gotten the whole like, what does this art piece make you feel 
type of thing. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. I can't deny though that like his art is pretty sick. Like that mountain in the background. Well then, if you'll excuse me. But as we've learned throughout the last couple of months, You'd imagine artists would or even years actually. These seems really friendly. An artist's work is not a representation of their real life. Indeed. And that's always been like a weird discussion. Like if we should separate an art or like the painting I wanted to see in person. An artist from the art, you know. This one? Hmm. I guess it's the painter's anger. I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. Oh. I think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. I can't do any of this. What Anne is doing right now, dude? I don't know. Something wrong? I just see like the technique. Don't mind me. Like the colors and all that. I don't really see the emotional side, I guess. There are better pieces than this one. Come now. Wow, this, this man's a true connoisseur. He's like, no, no, no. This is hey. this is low brow. This is trash taste. I'm gonna show you the real stuff right now. <laughs> ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. Damn. Meanwhile. <laughs> Remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. Mm-hmm. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Oh, that was use case painting? Why'd you leave without me? Uh-oh. You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. Wait, what? This post might be about Madarame. Oh, that's his phone. What's it say? I didn't know what he was holding for a second. A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Oh! Public face is shown on TV. Yo! Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. Wait a minute. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. Mm. He treats them inhumanely as if disciplining a dog. Yeah, all of this was hinted or implied at the beginning, like Rocky said, but I didn't actually remember much like of what they talked about Madarame at least. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? But just like Ryuji, it's slowly coming back to me. If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. Bruh. Posted this. He's stealing Yusuke's work and like putting it out as if it was his own. I mean, he is a pupil of him. That's totally what's happening, right? That's gotta be it. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, I think they just said it. The we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. Oh yeah. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. I love how the music like. We just need to talk to him in reality. It like peaked at the perfect moment. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? <laughs> We're gonna copyright strike him through the mementos, dude. Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Mod really want to put my logo on that one. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Bruh. This dude still doesn't know, does he? I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If it looks like a duck, if and it quacks like a it, duck, this the kind of target we've been waiting then it's for? obviously Madarame. Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Oh, yeah. Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info. Whoa! And the address to his sensei's atelier. Whoa! He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. This man gave her a copy of the keys and everything. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. <laughs> okay, then. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? Wait, that means Madarame's castle is going to be there, right? This is too sudden. Yes, palace time. Let's go. We're just going to go talk to Kitagawa. That's what you meant. Yeah, relax, Ann. Relax. Oh, this is awesome, though. Finally, castle time. Okay. Wait, what? what is going on with pancakes? I see a lot of pancakes in the chat now. 
Apparently, I gotta pay attention to a scene about pancakes for later on. So we'll keep an eye out for those. But for now... What's up, mid Pokemaster? If that Matarame is the same guy we heard about in Mementos, it might be worth looking into some more. What can we do tonight then? Maybe a little workout? Oh, we can do some training. Eh. Wait a minute, it's Sunday though. Can we still go out or is it too late now? Have we done too many things for today? Yeah. Don't trust people so easily. Okay, he always tells us the same thing now. Damn it, we can't go out tonight. So we can either study or watch some TV. I don't think there's, oh, it's the shopping channel. Not bad. The allergy relief pack. I feel like these are always pretty good to get. Or at least so far, I haven't really gotten anything bad from the TV thing. So I'm probably gonna buy these again. I mean, that cosmetic cure gift is pretty damn expensive though, but probably worth it, isn't it? I don't know, are any of these not worth it from you guys' experience? They've both sold out. Oh my God, wait a minute. I couldn't buy the other one. What? We could only choose one of the two? Uh, I probably should have picked the more expensive one then. But at least that didn't waste any of our time. So let's just uh, do some training to wrap up the day. You wanna do it? Let's do it. <coughs> yes. Let me see your fighting spirit. No more talk of pancakes, guys. All right, we're working out now. We ain't got time for cakes. Unless they're Anne, of course. The Anne cakes, yeah, well, that, that, that's always welcome here, but. Now, let's, carry out our plan. let's do it. Oh, yeah, okay. dude, look at that. I'm pretty sure he could do them before. I can't still do a single one of those. <laughs> More workout nice streams going. need to happen. More people got to make me simp right. with the, uh, the berries. <laughs> Maybe not tonight though. Looks like you're getting results from that protein shake too. All right. Ah, so that's why I'm messing up with the workout streams. It's cause I'm not getting enough protein in. But we are getting enough water though. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's get started. 33 simps completed. Oh God, this man said, are you sure about that? <laughs> Maybe after Dr. Snacks. All right, Jay Surge. <laughs> Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to talk a little about how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. So the whole school's got to go through this. It's just the, you know, people that were close to the Kamoshida incident that have to actually have one-on-one -on -one sessions with him. But I mean, I guess he's teaching all of us now. What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? Placebo? Spaceba effect? Oh my god. Look at that, guys. I got that one before it even came up. That's knowledge. This is it. That's right. Hell yeah. Some people spe specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. I was literally talking about this a couple of streams ago, how... Like, whenever you're sick, having a good mindset goes such a long way. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. Exactly. You gotta believe that what you're doing will help. Otherwise, why are you even doing it, dude? We call that a nocebo. Oh my... That's definitely a pun, dude. There's no way. Unless... Maybe. You must be really smart to be able to answer questions like that. Big brain, dude. Big PP. And brain. You gotta have both. Oh my god. Jay Surge got the big PP right now. Gift and a sub to Gakapo. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate that. That's just one example, but my point is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important not to push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. And it's my job to help with that. So come by the nurse's office when you're feeling down. Mm. The mind affects the body, huh? You think you'll change or I'll change back into human if I just believe hard enough? I hope so. I really want to know what the heck you are already. 
Unless... Oh my god. Is Morgana a pancake? The Madarame exhibit. You gotta see it. I never knew that art could be so explosive. Huh? Okay, so all these don't really matter that much, I guess. Nocebo is a real thing? That totally sounds like a pun that he made up, but I guess it's a nocebo. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Don't be such a nocebo, Ryuji. Come on. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Wow. Can this dude calm down? <laughs> oh, we're totally going to get caught, aren't we? Shoot. Dang. I thought On said we can take the train with pets, though, but I guess we got to pay extra fee. It's a stuffed animal. <laughs> it's just a creature, dude. A pocket monster. What's a creature? Oh, my. Isn't that a kitty? How old is this little girl? It's um, a toy. It meows when you press on its head. She didn't know the word creature, so she's got to be like five. You heard her. Press on its head. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, this is. Oh, <laughs> we got Mona simping for us now. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> oh, time to button mash. No way. Is this gonna lower our bond with Morgana? I doubt it. I'm just gonna do it, dude. Oh my. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> That's so funny. I wanna hear it again. Again, do it again. Oh, I just threw up in my mouth. I think that's called a fur ball, dude. Oh, seriously? That proves you're a cat once and for all. The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Today was the perfect day to introduce that Mona si <laughs> emote, huh? This is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye-bye. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Pokey Master. As long as you stay tuned to the streams, my dude. So, which line do we gotta transfer to? I appreciate that. Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. <laughs> you could always count on the Steven bomb. That's true. If anything, this is the closest station. What? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way? Oh, we're going to Madarame's house. I almost forgot already, dude. Damn. What kind of phantom thief? takes the train and then walks to their destination a slow one stop your complaining it's supposedly a shack but this is the neighborhood he lives in as expected of a famous artist looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to central street let's move no buses that's true I'm, i mean i'm pretty sure they got buses in japan but maybe they didn't want to implement them into the game Cause that would be like a whole nother like layer of confusion, dude. I'm already really bad at getting around the train station as it is. Like if they added buses too, dog, nah. Hey. Oh, we can get some food here. Okay, no, I guess we just gotta get to the house, dude. Where the heck is it though? Let's go. Oh, we gotta walk from here. Okay, which way's that? Dude, I'm so bad at this. It's no joke, guys. It's not this way either? Oh God. Is this upstairs? Oh, it was right behind us the whole... No, this is downstairs. Okay, so we're outside. And apparently we've got to walk the rest of the way. Oh, what is this guy doing? I hear you went to see Madarame's exhibit. Okay, is he like an art critiquer? Bro, this dude looks young. Yeah, I was about to say, this is a youngin for being a homeless guy, but... His fault, I have such a... Whoa. Wait, he's talking about Madarame? Who do you mean? It's got nothing to do with you. He's fooled everyone. You're all idiots. I think he was talking about Madarame. He said, I wish I could paint again. Damn, so Madarame basically takes kids under his tutelage, like as apprentices, because he's such a master painter, apparently. But then he actually just steals their artwork and treats them like shit the whole time. Which I mean, he technically he gives them a house. So like he is doing something for them. Wait. Which is, of course, like the the classic Persona thing at this point. Well, not classic, but... 
Kamoshida. Yeah, I was about to mention Kamoshida. Teacher at Shujin Academy. Similarly, like with Kamoshida, there's obviously some morally questionable things. Like it kind of blurs the line between, you know, he's done some not necessarily good things, but he just has a reputation, I guess. And that kind of masks all of the horrible things that he does behind the scenes. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? Human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. Wait a minute, I thought this was the principal for a second. This is actually the, yeah, Sei's boss. Sai? Sei? Sai? Bei? I don't. Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. He sure talks slow for how fast his lips were moving there. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. That's a nice view he's got, though, from his office. I'd be down for an office like that, dude. Is that it? Yep. We're at the right address. That's the shack. The door plate does say Matarame. Looks like it's made out of, like, aluminum. The heck? Uh, you ring the bell. It actually does look like just a giant shack. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? Oh, man. No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? I thought she was saying he lived in, like, a rich neighborhood, though. But then he's got, like, a really crappy house. Is that... Maybe that's what's going on. Who is it? Hey! Sensei is current. Best boy? Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. <laughs> oh my god. Takamaki. Oh. You two are here as well? Damn, he's pissed. Hey, sorry, but uh we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we got to ask you. That hey though. Is it true Madarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Whoa, you come right to his door to ask that, bro? Are you serious? We read about it online. I don't think he's gonna say anything. This? Uh. <laughs> What's up with all the keys, dude? That's what I wanna know. Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse. I'm pretty sure he gives those keys. He hands them out to girls that he wants to use as models. He's just like, yeah, you can come to my house. Here's the key. He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence. It is charity. Uh oh. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true. So it's beyond doubt. Damn. You might be lying about it. Like, you don't just come to someone's house and accuse them like that, dude. That... That is utter rubbish. Damn, he said rubbish. I had no Whoa. family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. Hmm? If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day. You will rue this really? day. <laughs> I remember that from a show. You will rue this day. And then he, it's like the name of the character, but... I can't remember it right now. Yusuke. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. Hmm. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. Damn, he's really good at putting on the face. That's not what we meant. Fake woke. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. That's right. You better apologize. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. You will rue the day you apologize, Yusuke. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Not bad. Not bad. Sayuri? I can see what they mean by the traditional Japanese style. This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. The way the tree is. I mean, everything, actually. Beautiful. It is pretty nice. I bet he drew it too. All this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. So he's saying Madarame supposedly did this painting, right? 
When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. So I guess this one, we don't know who actually did it. Me? Maybe it was like another one of his pupils that actually drew it. I wish to pursue beauty like this. Wow. And I believe drawing you will be part <laughs> of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. Damn, what a compliment. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. <laughs> yeah, I figured the game audio is pretty quiet. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Sometimes it gets louder though. Like, I mean, right now it's just kind of a serene moment. Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Could be Shadow Matarame. Man, right when we thought we found a new target too. But then again, the shadow is the representation of your true self, so... How's the MetaNav? Or your darkest desires or whatever. Hey, the app. Whoa. Was it picking up our conversation? Oh, snap. This display... It means that Matarame has a palace too. Right? Yes, finally. But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. So it's once we say certain things, that's when the app appears on our phone. Is that how it works? For real though, what the hell's going on? Seriously, I don't know. Does an old man like him really have a palace? Hmm. We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the shack for to enter. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? So it's not his house? That's right. His house looks like a freaking shack. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. Oh my gosh. It's a bit sudden though. Why don't we start with castle? Okay, that's not. Then what about prison? Huh? Ah, uh, what a pain. Maybe jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well have <laughs> farm. Okay, dude. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? It's an art school. Obviously. Oh wow, that's actually one of the answers. <laughs> I'm gonna go with museum since that's. Everybody in the chat pretty much said. Forgetting navigation? Whoa, really? <coughs> Spoilers, guys. Wow. Spoilers for two seconds later. At least the museum thing. Apparently, there was some crazier spoilers, but. Hey, when did you activate the nav? I didn't read them, so we're good so far. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. Arr. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. Look! Whoa. That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Wait a minute. I wasn't even paying attention this whole time. Let's go check it out. That wow. That's the next palace. Looks pretty sick, man. I got so used to Kamoshida's castle. So extravagant. To the point that it's got That I basically thought every, you know, palace was gonna be an actual castle. It's a museum, right? I guess so. This is Matarame's? Look at all those people lining up. You must think he's some hot shit. Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Yeah, of course. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? Maybe he wants to be worshipped even more so. He got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. I mean, it is, right? Like, because he's probably not a very good artist in reality. So to feel better about his own art skills in his palace, he is the real artist. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Well, that's true. Right. No point in trying to that aside, guess. Ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Yeah, that's true. 
Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. Oh god, it said something about traps though. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Bro, we can't just skip the line? Pretty sure we can just skip the line. Thank you.